Hey magicians, welcome back to my channel. Um, so yeah, I know I haven't uploaded in ages. I've just been really busy with school, uh, but it's Christmas, so I'm back and hopefully I'll be able to get a few videos uploaded before I have to go back to school. So for this video, I'm gonna be unboxing the Stablemates Justify model that Briar released this year, and also the Arabian single, which was my favorite out of all the singles they released. So this was the only one I got, um, but I would like to show you guys um, what they look like out of the box, so let's see. Okay, so here's the Arabian, and man, I have to say, this is one of my favorite Stablemate molds. Uh, one of the nice things about it is that it's pretty versatile. You can either have the horse standing up on its rear legs, or you can tip it forward and it can just be kind of prancing, um, which I really like, you know, when you can pose a horse more than one way. And also the design of this model is particularly striking, and I've always had a soft spot for Pintos, particularly overall patterns, so you can imagine how much I love this design. Um, the edges of the markings are really crisp, as you can see. Sometimes when you get pintos, they can be blurry, but that is not the case with this one, so if that's something you care about, this is definitely a, a pretty high-quality model. Um, even on the face, on the corners, is where the blurring tends to be the worst, but as you can see, these markings are really, really sharp, so I'm pretty happy about that. The other thing I'm happy about is that Briar isn't doing those goofy, like, white eyes anymore. I remember I made a video about this a while ago, where on any horse, regardless of the coloring, they would put little white patches at the corner of the eye to make it look like the horse was looking forward, but it ended up just making the horses look terrified. Um, and I'm really glad they stopped doing that because it didn't look that good, and it looks so much better when the eyes are just dark like this. So I'm really happy about that. So yeah, definitely love this model. Super glad about this one. Um, and now let's take a look at Justify. The back of the package has some info about Justify, like who owns him, and that he was a 13th Triple Crown Champion. Um, it might be interesting for you to know that he was trained by Bob Baffert, who actually trained the last Triple Crown winner, American Pharaoh, who won in 2015. And um, also, Justify is undefeated. He's the second out of all 13 Triple Crown winners to be undefeated, especially because he didn't race as a two-year-old, so this is a pretty big deal. Um, and he's also descended from a whole bunch of Triple Crown winners, including Seattle Slough, who was the only other Triple Crown winner who didn't race as a two-year-old. So I thought that was pretty interesting. He was foaled on March 28, 2015, and he's 16.3 hands high, so he's a pretty big stallion. Um, and we're going to take a look at him out of the package right now. Wow, okay, he looks even better out of the plastic. Look at that color. I'm not sure if the camera is even picking it up, but Brayer did an amazing job with the airbrushing on this model. You can see there's subtle variations in the color on his flanks, and he's just this fiery chestnut color with really nice blending on the points. And again, look how sharp those markings are. I feel like Brayer's really upped their game in terms of markings. He does have a little bit of that scaredy cat eye going on, but that's easy to fix. Um, like I said, I made a video about it. Literally, all you have to do is put some black paint on there and then gloss it over. Um, I still don't like the way it looks, but I guess it kind of works here. Um, and also, I didn't realize this, but there are white markings on his two rear hooves. And I'm not sure if Justify actually has those markings. It's kind of hard to see in the photo on the package. It doesn't look like he has them, but his hooves might just be dirty. So I can double check that. Um, but the blaze on his face really looks nice, and it is the correct shape. Like, if you look at photos of Justify, that is actually the shape of the blaze. So they did a really nice job keeping that accurate. Literally, the only thing I can see wrong with this model is that Briar did it again. They used a mare mold for a stallion, and they did the same thing. They literally used this same mold for the American Pharaoh portrait model that I reviewed back in 2015. Um, and to be honest, it's not a huge deal because it's a great mold, and it's pretty much the only running racehorse stablemate mold that Briar currently has, so I can understand why they'd use it. It's just a little weird that they don't have a running stallion mold after all this time, so they have to use a mare mold. It looks great, honestly, and I don't mind, but it might be an issue if you were trying to show the model since it wouldn't be technically accurate. Um, I'm not trying to show this model, so I don't really care, but that's just something to consider if you're thinking about getting the model for a competition. Overall though, I really like it. I think the paint jobs have just been getting better in these last couple of years, and I'm gonna be reviewing some other horses in the future, so hopefully the trend will continue. So yeah, I'm really happy with both these models, and I hope this video helped you decide if you wanna get them too. 
Have a great holiday and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!